Harry Morgan was an esteemed American actor known for his impressive range and unforgettable performances in some of the most iconic television shows of the 20th century. With a career spanning over six decades, Morgan's talents graced both the big and small screen, captivating audiences with his wit, charm, and natural acting ability. However, despite his successful career, Morgan's personal life was not without its challenges, and his sad ending marked a bittersweet farewell to a true Hollywood legend. In this video, we will explore the life and career of Harry Morgan, from his early beginnings to his final days, and celebrate his contributions to the world of entertainment. Harry Morgan came into this world on April 10, 1915, in Detroit, Michigan. His parents, Henry Bratsberg and Anna Olsen, were immigrants from Norway and Sweden, respectively. Henry worked as a mechanic, while Anna devoted herself to being a housewife. After completing high school in 1933, Harry decided to continue his education at the University of Chicago. During his junior year, he found himself drawn to the stage and began participating in plays. His passion for acting quickly grew, and he decided to pursue it as a career. Harry Morgan's passion for acting led him to drop out of college due to a lack of funds and head to New York City. He joined the Group Theater, which was run by big names such as Lee Strasberg. For the next few years, Harry devoted himself entirely to acting, performing in numerous notable plays and Broadway productions. In the early 1940s, Harry made the move to Los Angeles, ready to make his mark on the silver screen. His big break came in 1942 when he made his on-screen acting debut in the film To the Shores of Tripoli. Harry landed a significant role in his first movie, and despite the mixed reviews it received, it proved to be an average box office grocer. Harry Morgan's debut year in Hollywood proved to be successful, with him securing a supporting role in the film The Loves of Edgar Allan Poe. He continued his lucky streak by appearing in two more films that year, The Omaha Trail and Orchestra Wives. In the following years, Harry's career continued to flourish, with him appearing in several films such as Happy Land, Wing and a Prayer, and Dragon Wick. He was often cast in supporting roles, but his talent and dedication to his craft were evident in every performance. As the 1940s progressed, Harry became part of some critically acclaimed films, such as Red Light and All My Sons. He continued to work hard and refine his acting skills, always pushing himself to do better. As the 1950s rolled in, Harry Morgan continued to excel in his craft, playing supporting roles in highly acclaimed films such as Dark City, Outside the Wall, High Noon, and Strategic Air Command. However, his breakthrough came in 1954 when he was cast in his late friend's biopic, The Glenn Miller Story. The film, based on the life of musician Glenn Miller, starred Hollywood icon James Stewart in the lead role. Harry was cast as Miller's friend, Chummy McGregor. His performance was praised by critics and audiences alike, showcasing his range as an actor. The Glenn Miller story was a massive critical and commercial success, receiving three Academy Award nominations. The film solidified Harry's status as a talented actor and gave him the recognition he deserved in Hollywood. Harry Morgan continued to work on television in the 1960s, making appearances on a variety of shows. One of his early roles was as Al Everett in the drama series Going My Way in 1962. He also had smaller parts on popular shows like The Untouchables and Have Gun Will Travel. Richard Boone, the creator of Have Gun Will Travel, was impressed by Morgan's work and offered him a key role in his next project, The Richard Boone Show. The Richard Boone Show became very successful, and Harry's career continued to thrive in the mid-1960s with many more successful projects. In 1964, he landed one of the leading roles in the comedy drama series Kentucky Jones as Seldom Jackson. This show provided a great opportunity for Morgan to showcase his comedic timing and acting skills and he quickly became a fan favorite. Harry Morgan's career was filled with successes and one of his biggest came in 1967. That year he was cast in the leading role of Detective Bill Gannon in the popular police procedural series Dragnet which ran until 1970. 
The show was directed by Jack Webb, with whom Harry had worked successfully in the past. The two had collaborated on several films, including Dark City, 1950, Appointment with Danger, 1950, and Pete Kelly's Blues, 1950. Harry continued his career in the film industry in the early 1970s, appearing in movies such as The Barefoot Executive and Scandalous John. However, it was his role in the 1974 sitcom M.A.S.H. that brought him widespread recognition. In the show, Harry played General Bartford Hamilton, a character that quickly became a fan favorite. His performance in the series earned him an Emmy Award. Although Harry became less active in films and television in the 1970s, he still managed to appear in a few of them. In 1972, he starred in Snowball Express. Later, in 1979, he was part of two television projects, including Backstairs at the White House and The Bastard, a television movie. As Harry advanced in age, his film career slowed down, and he took on fewer roles. However, there were still some notable projects that he was a part of. In 1982, he lent his voice to the animated film The Flight of Dragons. Five years later, he appeared in Dragnet, the film, 1987, a comedy mystery movie based on the popular television series Dragnet that he had starred years earlier. While his film roles were becoming less frequent, Harry still maintained an active presence on television. In 1990, he starred in the television movie The Incident. From 1993 to 1996, he appeared in the sitcom Third Rock from the Sun. He also appeared in several popular television shows, including The Love Boat, 1978 to 1985, and Black's Magic, 1986. Despite his advanced age, Harry remained dedicated to his craft until the very end. Harry Morgan continued his acting career in the 1990s, appearing in a series of television movies for the Columbia Broadcasting System. He starred alongside Walter Mathal as Stoddard Bell, a judge who had a complicated relationship with Mathal's character, Harmon Cobb, an attorney. Additionally, Morgan made a guest appearance on the popular television show The Simpsons in Season 7. In the episode Mother Simpson, he voiced his iconic character Bill Gannon, who, along with Joe Friday, is an FBI agent trying to track down Homer's mother, who was on the run from the law. Harry Morgan's personal life was just as eventful as his professional one. He married Eileen Detchon in 1940, and the couple remained together until she died in 1985. They were blessed with four sons, Christopher, Charles, Daniel, and Paul. However, Harry's life took a turn after his wife's death. In 1986, he married Barbara Bushman Quine. Unfortunately, the marriage did not turn out to be a happy one. In July 1966, Harry was charged with domestic violence for physically assaulting his 70-year-old wife, who was 11 years younger than him. The charges against Harry were later dropped, but only after he completed a six-month anger management and domestic violence counseling program. The incident was a stark reminder of the dangers of domestic violence and the importance of seeking help when dealing with anger management issues. Harry Morgan, the legendary actor, achieved many feats throughout his long career in the entertainment industry. In 2006, he was inducted into the Hall of Great Western Performers at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, which was a great honor for him. Unfortunately, on December 7, 2011, Harry Morgan passed away in his sleep at 3 a.m. local time in Los Angeles at the age of 96. His son Charles revealed that the actor had recently been treated for pneumonia. After his death, Harry's body was cremated and his remains were given to his family. Goodbye and rest in peace, legendary actor Harry Morgan.